So pattern games. Again, this is using food and using uh, the environment. And what we do, and dogs love patterns. They love patterns. So we give her a predictable pattern to follow. And whereas a find it is just a quick food scatter, a pa the pattern games are predict uh, predictable patterns of placement of food. And what you do is you toss one to the ground. First you say your cue, I, I say get it. All right, so get it. Toss it to the ground, so that's a new cue. Find it will mean a handful. Get it, get it could yeah. mean one. She eats it when she reorients. Get it. You toss another way. And in the beginning, you don't even have to get it. You don't even have to toss very far. Get it. So my criteria is head reorientating back. Get it. So you can see this is a predictable pattern. Yeah. And they really thrive on it. We like patterns as well. Get it. You can also do, get it, dropped right to the ground. Get it. I'm not necessarily looking for eye contact. Get it. Just reorientating. Now, of course, she doesn't really know the cue. Get it. Good. Get it. And here we are starting in a semi-distracting environment and she's doing wonderful. But again, like all these games, you start at home, right? Get it? Good, nice. So you can see how this too can be a game that is movement-based and it keeps... Get it? Lovely. And it's structured and it's patterned and the dogs really, really thrive on that.